Hello, crafting lovelies. I am so very thankful that you are joining me today. I am the Rocky Mountain Crafter, and I am going to try to answer a pressing question for you. That is a pun, press, haha, <laughs> because we're, the pressing question that I'm going to try to answer is about the better press and whether or not you can use foil plates in your better press machine. Not should you, that's not the question, but can you? So to get started here, I am just lining up the Butterfly Garden letterpress plate and it has two pieces to it. It has this inside piece and an outside piece. So I'm just going to do a regular card in the Better Press first so that you can see with Better Press products and Better Press ink what it looks like, what it should look like before I try with foil plates. So the color that I'm using here is a Better Press ink color and it is called Cosmic Sky and it's a dark blue. It's kind of a royal blue, it's beautiful. So I have three shims in here. The Better Press system comes with these three shims. So I'm using all three and I've got this plate lined up in here. Now I need to get some cardstock. So I'm also using the cardstock that comes with the Better Press system. It is called Pebbled. So this is a gray cardstock. So if it looks not white, it's because it is not white. It is a very light gray. It is very important to condition the tape because if you don't, it will rip the paper first. Time I tried, that's exactly what happened. And so I'm just putting it on the edges of that cardstock, which is made of cotton. And I'm also going to use another shim. So in my Sizzix Big Shot, the Sizzix platform has this skinny shim and I'm using that as well as the shims that the Better Press came with. And now listen to this as I take this off and remove it. That is so good. That's so nice. Okay. And now I am going to take the outside piece of this Better Press plate, which is a decorative floral piece, and I'm just lining that up in the spot. So this piece doesn't make a rectangle. It's just kind of like it's rectangle shape the cutout. So if you don't line it up exactly, it's all right. And the color that I'm using here is French blue, and it's a very light blue, and it's also a Better Press ink. And I'm removing the tape and putting it on the corners. Now the problem with the corners of tape, doing it that way, is that the other two corners like to hang low. It doesn't tape it up properly. So I went back and I taped it at the sides again. Now in the end, I already have a plan for this card. I'm gonna cut four edges off and frame it with a different color. So that's okay that I'm using the tape on the sides. Again, I have those shims in there that the Better Press came with and I'm also using my Sizzix platform shim. And again, here's my reaction. Gorgeous that is. You guys do not see the indent in there. That is just beautiful. And this is on the gray. Okay. So there you have. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, and we'll take our tape off. And that's okay, I can rub that off after. Spots there. And I can just put this one. It's fine. That's gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. The question is because I have shims underneath the Better Press system, when I'm using foil plates, which are only a hair thicker, I've pulled the plate here by Spellbinders Plaid Tidings. That's the gold colored one. And you can see it is maybe a millimeter thinner or thicker, sorry, at most at most a millimeter, I call it a hair. So if I'm using shims, the question becomes, if I just don't use as many shims, will it be okay? I'm going to use this blue color again, the dark blue called Cosmic Sky, that is the Better Press ink. Just because the Better Press has so far worked the best, I want to get a real telltale story of using foil plates. So I'm going to stick to the Better Press ink for this particular plate. Again, I am conditioning the tape and putting that tape onto the sides of that pebble colored cardstock and onto the Better Press platform. And then I'm not going to use the shim of the Sizzix platform this time. I'm just using the three shims the Better Press came with and that's it. So here, I'm not too happy with this imprint actually. 
I think that these lines on this particular foil plate are a little thick. And so the ink is not transferring nicely. Better press plates have a much thinner, much more detailed uh, image to them. So I'm going to try this plate, which is by Pink Fresh and it's called Modern Script. This plate too has fine detailed print on it, just like the better press plates do. And I'm pulling out these old Memento inks. So there's been many videos and you can find them on Google or YouTube about using inks that have a felt pad because the problem with ones that have a sponge pad is that they're just too squishy and they transfer too much ink. So I'm sticking today to inks that have a felt pad. Now I just do everything that I've already done in the past showing you guys how to put it through using the shims. I'm just doing that again. So back to the question, can you use your foil plates with the better press? What did Jennifer McGuire say about it? She said, and I quote, you can use your better press plates to do foiling, but you cannot use your foiling plates to do better press. That might damage your better press system. Now on this one, I put a shim on top of it as well, and I am not actually very happy with this imprint. It's very blotchy, and I do attribute that to the ink. So you will see me do two more examples here with other inks. The next ink that I'm using is the Better Press ink, which is formulated specifically for Better Press plates. And it is in the color Wildberry. Again, it's a bright pink. Now, back to Jennifer McGuire's quote. She says, that might damage your Better Press system. So I took that word might, and I thought to myself, it's not it will, it's a might. So I'm going to take the chance. Here, sorry, just to jump back here, you see me putting another shim on top. I do find that the shim in this does work. And here's the result. So the memento is not a good image at all, but this better press is nice, crisp, it's clear. There's nothing that looks like it's uh, watered down or uh, faded or it's just a perfect image. Absolutely perfect. And the imprint is beautiful. You guys are probably going to laugh at me, but the third ink that I use is Stampin' Up. So the reason <laughs> that I'm using Stampin' Up ink is because I have kept it around all this time because I have little kids and I don't want my little kids to be using my good ink pads. So I have kept all of my old Stampin' Up! ink spots and full-sized ink pads for them to play with. And you know what? I love that I have those old ink pads. So I don't feel bad for it one bit for keeping all those old ink pads. And you know what? For this application, it's actually really good. So this is Melon Mambo, again, another bright pink on a foam pad. And I am using that. I use the shim on this as well. And I just want to talk a little bit again about Jennifer McGuire's quote that it might damage your system. So I took that word might and I was like, well, that doesn't mean that it will. It just might. And so I took the risk. Now, if you had a problem, I doubt that they would warranty anything for you if something did come of it. But here we go. Here's the results. So the Stampin' Up! is it's not quite as crisp as the better press but it is a very close second i'm very happy with the result of the stampin up ink here i'm going to show you guys the clear plate so this will be the telltale sign of if you're damaging your system so you can see the words that i just did now i did them three times so there is a shadow three times and that's why they look so deep and so ingrained in there but Everything that I've pressed with this plate has made a shadow like that, has made an imprint on this plate. Um, here is some words that I used earlier that are letterpress plates. And there's some more words and the butterfly. I could see the butterfly there. I can see uh, flowers that the letterpress came with. So yeah, the only reason the words are so noticeable is because I did it three times in almost the exact same spot and you're getting a little bit of a sh shadow each time. So 
with Jennifer McGuire's quote about the might damage your better press, that's covering better presses bases warranty wise. Because if you use a product in their product that's not meant to be used in their product and you damage your system, your warranty will be void, guaranteed. Therefore, you do not want to risk that most people would not. From a marketing point of view by Better Press, of course they are going to want to sell their own Better Press plates. And there are already all kinds of foil plates out there. Most people that are into foiling probably wouldn't even have to buy any Better Press plates. But you would want to make absolutely sure that it's about the same thickness or you could ruin it. So from a marketing perspective, it's brilliant. But can you use your foil plates in your better press system? Yes, you can. Do you want to? That is entirely up to you. I have shown you the results of using it in there. I've shown you the results of different inks. So now it's up to you whether or not it is worth it for you to void that warranty should anything happen or not. So I have this silver cardstock here and something that Jennifer did that I forgot that she did was she put tape onto the back. So we will just do that and we'll put that, that way you don't get those tape marks on the front or spots of missing ink when I had it on the sides. So I think this, we'll try this. And then with the better press plate, put it down right there. Now all that I want is just to run this through and get the impression onto the silver. So I am going to use a shim. I'm actually going to use, I think, this and probably a shim. So again, I still have the three shims under here and I'm going to use this thin plastic piece that comes with my Sizzix platform. Plus I'm also going to use this shim because I really want to get a good impression onto here. So let's try this. And I can feel that it is pushing through. That's good, that's what I want. I want to be able to feel that resistance a little bit and know that I'm getting a good impression. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. So, then I'm going to die cut. So this is made so that you can die cut these out. Let's lift this up. The problem with ink on the this paper was that is that it would probably stay on top. So that's why I chose not to ink it up. I just want that impression. So then we can die cut. Can you guys see that? How good that worked? That worked really, really well. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Okay. And I feel like the places where the tape was there and there, like it almost cut through. Can you see that? And these are actual better press plates that I used. This one here, the actual better press butterfly plate, and it almost cut through. Now maybe I had, it's the tape. The tape made it be so the tape made it acted like a shim essentially so if you're looking for i don't know how to put it if that could affect your overall end result so you just want to be wary of that you just want to know that that could be what happens okay so then i'm going to die cut this out of our tape here, line it up. So there is all those beautiful butterflies. Look at that, gorgeous. Okay. And now it's time to finish off what is going to be a beautiful card. So I'm taking my two-way tape to that pressed panel and just putting that onto some silver cardstock. And with one of those butterflies, I'm going to lay it flat over top of the blue butterfly that's already there. 
And then with another butterfly, I'm going to pop it up with glue dots, but only in the middle. And so that it will look like it has flapping wings on top of this existing butterfly that's there. So it's a three dimensional butterfly. And now with color play card bases, they're pre-made. I'm just taking one of those and getting my bone folder out and scoring in the middle. And I'm using liquid glue to adhere that card panel right to the card base. And that is the card done, you guys. I hope that you found this video informative and helpful on whether you should use your foil plates in your better press system, whether you should buy a better press system, whatever the case might be for you. I just hope that you enjoy your crafting. I am the Rocky Mountain Crafter, and you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and on my blog at .com. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do take care and have a lovely week. Bye-bye.